guys. Now, I have something special for you guys today. We are going to be talking to Sean, and he's going to tell you everything about his KL Cherokee, his Cherokee Trailhawk, that he hates those two-letter designations, but I'm a Wrangler guy. That's what we do. So we're going to talk to him. He's going to tell you what he likes about the KL. He's going to tell you what he doesn't like about the KL. He's going to tell you what he's done to it and what he's recently done to it. So let's talk to him right now there he is so what do you like about this cherokee all right so one of the my biggest reasons why i picked it in the first place because i was looking at a four-door willys wrangler was i didn't want to lose the on the road car feel uh while still gaining as much off-road capability as i possibly could um this seemed like the best compromise of both of those that i could possibly find in the market within a reasonable price range so when i went and i ended up picking up a 2019 cherokee trailhawk with a 2.0 liter turbo right when they first came out um I test drove the, the turbo and the V6 both, and I liked the turbo for being in the mountains where we are. The forced air definitely keeps the power when you need it, um, where the V6 loses a good amount of power at elevation. So that was something that was important to me. And have this tows 4,000 pounds versus the 4,500 of the V6, but I don't have anything that I'm towing anywhere near that amount. So it wasn't a huge concern for me. So when I first got it, um, the first thing I did was put a two inch lift and level on it because as you've seen from a lot of videos, I have a tent on the roof. Um, that's a Tapui Kukanam three person tent. I love it. I'd like a hard shell tent, but the bigger ones are too heavy for my roof per Jeep specs. Um, so I, I had the lift and level for a while. I, I put KO2s on that were the stock tire size for a while. Um, and then I did cliffhanger 2.0 and realized it wasn't enough. Um, so I then went and uh, spent way too much money on a, on a three inch MFC lift with Fox long travel rear shocks. Um, spent all last weekend putting that on and doing a pretty poor job. Um, and then upgraded to 25570 70 R17 KO2s and did, a, did the pinch weld mod that everybody does on the Cherokees to make them fit. Um, this is the first time we've taken it out. I made it up there this time. I didn't make it up there the last time. So I guess it is what it is, If how, how much of a difference it's made. Um, there are, I definitely wish I could have had the Hemi engine in the in the Grand Cherokees, but Jeep wouldn't offer it in this platform. So get on that, please, because everybody. But the Wrangler's it. getting it. Yeah, but everyone everybody wants a Hemi Cherokee. I like this. It's I like the smaller size of the Cherokee. Although with my lift, it definitely is a lot bigger. Um, but I've definitely been blown away. And one of my favorite things about owning this is doing obstacles with people with built up Wranglers and having them look at me and wonder how I got a crossover up where they were at. Yeah, how did you get this up? I, I have no idea. I'm pretty sure I hated it, but I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, if you guys haven't seen that video, you should check out Cliffhanger 2.0, where Sean may or may not have gotten up there. Because mm -hmm. I think I definitely I may or may not that have you don't get up it. there. Oh, I, I'm sure I've published that already. So if they haven't watched it, then they're not true wall true. crawlers like us. That is true. That is the <laughs> other thing, too. Like, it is still a nice, comfortable car to drive on the road. Um, and... Obviously, get Stingray Gray. That's the best color. They had sound. Sweet. Uh, tell us about your rock rails and the other oh, accessories. And I, stuff so I forgot about those. Okay. Yeah. So and who did your lift? That kind of stuff. Okay. So my uh, my rock sliders are Rocky Road Outfitters Super Sliders. Um, me and my mechanic Anthony Montgomery um, put them on. It took us a while, and they're a huge pain in the ass. And I and I suggest that if anybody gets Rocky Road Outfitters sliders for these, pay somebody else to do them for you. It's not worth doing it yourself. Um, the, the, the tent I have, I said, is a Tipui one. The crossbars I have are Yakima, um, Timberline ones, I believe. They're one of the more expensive ones. They're, they work fine. Um, a rock would be just fine. But for the weight rating of 150 pounds static, that's was the best option that I could find for it. Um, the lift I had before, and I took some crap for it, was a Rough Country 2-inch lift and level, which four-wheel drive parts suggested to me. Um, and they worked completely fine for what I needed them for. I had no problems. The only reason I got this was because I wanted to upgrade the suspension to something more durable and to get Fox shocks because they're Fox shocks and that's what you want. So um, I haven't, uh, apart from having them on for a week, I don't have a lot of experience with how well they, they are. Um, I just put them on, but the, my mechanic and my friend David put them on and it took us 16 and a half hours to get them on, so. Um, stock sliders. Or stock uh, skids, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I didn't do anything to the skid plates. The, the skid plates that the Cherokee Trailhawk already comes with are pretty comprehensive. And if you looked underneath mine, they're beat to heck. But, you know, that's what they're there for. Perfect, yeah. Thank you for using appropriate language. We are trying to make money off of this YouTube channel. 
Oh I'm yeah, just blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm kidding. We make no money off of this thing. Um, when wheeling it, any challenges that you've come across that you wish you had something different or wish that you did something different with it? Just like everybody, I mean, there are times where I preferred to have a rear locker, but I just very, or I mean a front locker, but I just recently came across a situation where crawl control got me through, an, may or may not have got me through an obstacle that I could not get through prior. I, I've used everything, all the all the drive modes. I've used the locker. I've used I've used the the hill descent control. I've used everything on here. I, just a front locker would be the only real thing beside that I could possibly see really needing. At the same time, as much as I push this thing, a, a, tra a, a Cherokee Trailhawk should not be on a trail where it really needs a front locker anyway. Absolutely. So that's awesome. Well, dude, thank you so much for telling us about your awesome Cherokee. Now you're not the only Cherokee around. Do you think yours is better than Zach's? I think mine looks looks better than Zach's. Oh, <laughs> Zach's gonna have Zach's not. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> yeah, he's one of the the main stars of this channel. He's a mall crawler, just like me. Thanks for talking about your Cherokee. Hopefully, I uh, put some good clips. And I hope I hope you guys realize that this that talking on camera is excruciatingly painful for. Oh us. yeah, they have to deal with me for however long this thing's been going on for. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, true. thank you guys so much. If you want to see more of Sean's Cherokee, click right up there. That's where I'm going to put his videos. If you want to see Zach, a better off roader, click right I'm here. Probably, I'm not going to deny <laughs> that. I'm, no, sure. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And if you are not a subscriber, head over here. We will. Uh, Love to have you. We're going to make more trail guides. He's going to get out there and continue to abuse his machine, just like all of us, because it's what we do. That is what we do. We have Jeeps and Toyotas. Oh, we're going to have some Toyotas on some future videos. You ready? I have no idea what to say. I don't even know what I'm supposed to say. I know. I'm not going to think <laughs>